Hello, welcome to crackingmba.com. Today we're going to talk about the basics of numbers. Numbers is one of the most important topics in CAD. It is a basis for a lot of other topics such as ratio and proportion, percentages, time and distance and so on. So although you may not be directly asked questions in numbers, you need to have very strong basics in it so as to be able to solve questions in a variety of other topics. Hence, it is essential that you have a very strong foundation in the basic concepts of numbers. Some of the key concepts that we will talk about in this uh, session are natural numbers, whole numbers, integers, rational numbers, irrational numbers, and real numbers. National num uh, so here we have the Venn diagram which represents the hierarchy of numbers. If you see in the, in the center of this diagram, it has the natural numbers and above that is the whole numbers which includes all the natural numbers with a, a zero added to it. Then you have the integers which represent the entire spectrum from minus infinity to plus infinity. So you will notice that it, the integers also have 0, 1, 2, 3, so on up to plus infinity which, is, which represents all the whole numbers. And above that you have the rational numbers and the irrational numbers. So the rational numbers and irrational numbers although are different numbers, they, the rational numbers include all of the integers. Hence it is one level above. And above all this in the last ring is the real numbers which include all the numbers on the number line from minus infinity to plus infinity. So let's look at each one of them in detail. First starting with the natural numbers. So in the natural numbers, if you look at the real number, uh, number line, you will find that it represents all those numbers on the right side of 0 starting from 1, 2 and so on up to plus infinity but they cannot be fractions of a number. Hence, 2.1 is a positive number, but it is not a natural number. Other examples of natural numbers include 1, 2, 3, so on, up to, up to positive infinity. The next set is the whole numbers. This includes all the natural numbers along with the number 0. So, it includes 0, 1, 2, so on, up to plus infinity. So, naturally, all natural numbers are a subset of whole numbers. So whole numbers include 0 and all the natural numbers such as 1, 2, 3 and so on. The next set includes integers. Integers include all the negative numbers and positive numbers including 0 which are represented on the number line and which are not fractions. So for example 2.4 is not an integer. Similarly minus 1.4 is also not an integer. The other examples of integers include minus 4, minus 3, so on, 0 and 1, 2, so on up to infinity. Another thing to note is that in integers you have all the numbers ranging from minus infinity to plus infinity and they cannot be fractions. So moving on, next is the rational numbers. Rational numbers include all those numbers which can be represented in the form of p by q where q is not equal to 0. So all integers naturally become rational numbers because every integer can be represented in the form of p slash 1 or p by 1. For example, 2 is an integer and it is also a rational number because it can be expressed as 2 by 1. So other examples of rational numbers include minus 1 by 4, minus 1 by 8, 1 by 7 and so on. Next we come to irrational numbers. Irrational numbers are those which cannot be expressed in the form of p by q where q not equal to 0. They are lying on the number line but they consist of all the real numbers which are not rational numbers. So we will come to real numbers next. But some of the examples of irrational numbers include root 2, root 6 and another famous irrational number is pi and e. Often we see that if we see this question below we see that pi is generally represented as 22 by 7. For example, when we say circumference of a circle, we say 2 pi r and we say 2 into 22 by 7 into r. So does it mean that if I can represent it as p by q, it is also a rational number? So the answer is it is not a rational number because it is just an approximation to 22 by 7. It, the exact value is not 22 by 7. Hence pi is an irrational number. Coming to the last set, which is the real numbers. The real numbers include all the numbers on the number line ranging from minus infinity to plus infinity. This includes all the rational numbers, all the irrational numbers, all the uh, integers, whole numbers and natural numbers. 
So again, coming back, is pi a real number? Yes, pi is a real number because pi is an irrational number and an irrational number is automatically a real number. So that's it for this session. Please revise all the definitions. You can take the mock test in the topic of numbers basics in our Android app or you can also reach out if you have any questions on our Android app under the dashboard section. Thank you very much.